Here we have uh, another video from Mean and Transmissions. Two locations, one in Willow Grove and one in Lansdale. You can reach online at meanandtransmissions.com. Transmission we're talking about today is a uh, 62 TE transaxle in a 2011 Dodge Caravan. Uh, this transaxle was essentially the, the six-speed uh, evolution of the uh, the 604 or the 41 TE transmission that was uh, notoriously problematic, released back in the uh, late 90s in Chrysler products. So, uh, the reason they went with the six-speed transaxle, you know, as the government pushes for higher fuel mileage numbers, uh, they have to add additional ratios to the transmission to keep the engine in an area where it's uh, most volumetrically efficient. So <clears throat> this is the this is the transmission uh, disassemble. We have some of the drums loaded here. This one was brought in, had a uh, converter codes. Uh, we dropped the pan and saw you know a bit of material on the pan. Uh, the pan was loaded up, had 100,000 miles, so we pulled it apart to go through it and uh, found uh, quite a few things. Some of the clutches were burned up and damaged, had some metal. Not only was the material in the pan, but the metal was uh, throughout the transmission itself. So decontaminate the entire transmission. The gear train itself is the same uh, as the, uh, the 604 transmission. But you know, one of the components that was added to the, the 62TE is this low clutch retainer here, uh, otherwise known uh, in the industry as a compounder. Uh, this compounder assembly, uh, the original compounder assemblies had a tendency for wear to take place and if you look this ring has quite a bit of slop in terms of the fitment. This ring land doesn't look as bad so because of that uh, it winds up creating a hydraulic leak and it does not apply the clutches correctly. Uh, design revision was made that design revision actually has a essentially a keyed area of the uh, ring land and then the ring itself has a has a uh, a notch, uh, a protrusion that allows it to not spin on the compounder. Even though these rings are made out of Teflon, when material grit, this same grit, this metallic grit that's in the pan, gets between this Teflon ring and the aluminum, it essentially machines it away, and that's what causes this ring fitment issue. So to alleviate that problem, alleviate the rings from spinning, uh, they've essentially keyed the ring, and they've machined the drum so it stays uh, held in its place and it doesn't rotate and potentially machine this ring land and cause a ring fitment issue that causes a hydraulic problem. So these are some of the, the, the problems that you see and some of the updates that are made to the components to improve uh, you know, and make it so that you don't have a repeat occurrence of the same sort of failure. Uh, one important thing with these transmissions has a fairly extensive solenoid block assembly that unit gets replaced. It also has a VLP, variable line pressure solenoid. It also has a pressure transducer. Uh, one of the things that they try to do is to minimize operating line pressure in order to maximize the fuel economy on these vehicles. A lot of decisions that are being made in the automotive industry are being made because of the push for additional fuel mileage, but unfortunately in the early years of these transmission designs, we're always going to be incurring some uh, challenges and development you know, changes that are going to be made. But uh, once, uh, once this transmission's back up and running uh, with all the new components installed, it should be better than the, uh, better than the unit was from the factory.